No, good music is bad. It is not good to hear. New music is good. Bud, 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 bud. <laughs> Hi everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review. A tour sampler CDR compilation thing from Sertze. These guys are a Boston band, a five-piece. I believe this is the first time I'm being exposed to their music. Two new original songs as well as three tracks that are re-recorded that originally appeared on a split that they did with the band Lear. That came out earlier this year and these guys, as far as I know, have not been kicking around as, as Sertze, that is, all that long. I mean, they came out with what I think is their debut EP just at the end of last year. They've got a great recording to their music. They have a nice blend of, of different extreme music styles, some tight performances, and tons of energy. Chari 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 charisma. If you wanted to boil this collection of songs down. You could call it punk music, but these guys blend it with so many other forms of extreme music. There are all sorts of pummeling guitar riffs flying in left and right, but they are usually matched with some pretty fast drumming. And often, it's not like the guitars are just throwing a riff out there or anything like that. They usually have a very kind of dissonant quality to them sometimes. We'll feature shots of feedback in the background or we'll have a, a very minor or, or dark harmony to them, which to me is, is so much of a, a post-hardcore vibe. And the guitars are not thin, overly distorted, or, or brittle. They're very thick. They're very punchy. The drums change up a lot through these tracks, just like the songs themselves. Very sporadic, extremely fast rolls and fills. We'll switch from a D beat to a bunch of riff syncopated cymbal hits. For sure, Sertse just packs a lot of detail into some extremely short songs. The longest track on here is two minutes and 18 seconds, but they are not afraid to cut things down to just about 34 seconds. And in that 34 seconds, you will get a lot of momentum, a lot of adrenaline, and just a lot of catharsis out of this one well-crafted punch. The track D.I.D. comes to mind, which starts off with a, a pretty nice blast beat. Some feedback, then it just gives way to some grinding guitar riffs. And then it breaks down to this extremely heavy riff and these screeching vocals from the band's front woman. There's definitely not any sort of guttural or low or testosterone fueled quality to the vocals or the aggression on this album. Instead, the vocals in this band brings this ultra feminine, high pitched, ear shredding voice that is unquestionably overpowering to just nothing but just black skies and broken windshields and gnash teeth and sour milk. And the lyrics really grip me from time to time too, like on the opening track, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. Or the finishing line on this sampler with the line about the poison apple and tell me who's the fairest. Overall, I'm not completely satisfied with this EP. At times I do feel like the vocals can get a little overdramatic. Maybe the band is in somewhat of a fetal stage and hasn't really reached that full peak of, oh man, this is their style, style mine, mine. However, the fact that this band blends all these styles really well, performs well, has a great recording, and a fantastic vocalist, all of that makes these songs to me feel pretty fresh. Like I said, not the most satisfying thing in the world, but that partially has to do with this thing being so short, I just wanted more, but really was the band trying to do that with this thing? It's really just a compilation of some tracks to hold fans over until they put out something new. It's a great listen, new band to kind of be excited about. Feeling a decent two strong seven on this thing. What did you guys think of it? If you gave it a listen, let me know. Love you. Anthony Fantano, Certse, Tour Sampler CDR thing, forever. Mm -hmm.